let's take an example example one say factorize the expression x squared plus 6x plus 8. So the first thing to do we say is to identify the constant which is plus 6 plus 8 and the coefficient of x which is plus 6. So after doing that we look for the factors which when multiplied give us the constant but when added gives us the coefficient of x. So with that, we know that b is equal to plus 6 and c is equal to plus 8. So we look for two factors which when multiplied gives us the constant plus 8. When added gives us the coefficient of x plus 6. So what really comes to mind here is 2 and 4 so that 2 times 4 is equal to plus 8 and 2 plus 4 is equal to plus 6 so that we can say 2x plus 4x is equal to 6x so if we look at our equation which is our expression which is x squared plus 6x plus 8 we see that we can replace plus 6x here with 2x plus 4x. But we simply have that x squared plus in place of 6x here, we replace it by 2x plus 4x. So I have x squared plus 2x plus 4x. I still have my plus 8 there, plus 8. So what I do next is to group. After grouping, I look for what is common in the bracket. In our first bracket, what is common to both sides is x. So I simply have x there. That x squared divided by s gives me x. 2x divided by s, which is 2 times x divided by x, simply gives me plus 2 plus what's common to both sides here is 4. So that 4x divided by 4 gives me x. 8 divided by 4 gives me plus 2. So since we have two common factors here as the same, we take one of them, which is x plus 2, and we have x plus 4. So we have been able to factorize that expression. x squared plus 6x plus 8 is simply x plus 2, bracket, x plus 4.